Hi everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about a lot of the questions I get about Merch by Amazon and print on demand in general. Excuse me, got something going through. Um, so some print on demand dealing with Merch by Amazon and some dealing with Printful, Etsy, things like that. So if you are watching later and you're interested in catching me live, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified when I go live or when I put out a new video. So, and I am <laughs> live right now, so I've got the chat going. Um, thanks, hi Eric, um, hi Angie, and Ren likes my new wig. It's it's my real do, it is real. Um, hi, hi, hello. Um, <clears throat> so. Let me just jump right into it. I did a, a quick live video the other day and then was convinced into taking it down. I knew that I was going to, uh, well, I didn't think it was going to be a problem, but I was, anyway, it was about something I wasn't supposed to talk about yet, confidentiality, et cetera, et cetera. So um, if I can skirt it and dance around what I was talking about the other day, then I will. So yeah. Anyway, if you've got any questions, whether you're live or whether you're watching later, um, just pop it in the chat or leave a comment down below and I will answer it uh, when I can. Also, I have a Patreon account, not, again, this is totally just uh, no pressure, but if you're interested, I do have a Patreon account, it's down below, um, where I share my top selling design of the month and I just explain, you know, what went behind the design, why, you know, what did I, do and why did I choose that, etc. Uh, and then talk about maybe why it started selling again. And then I also will do, I also have a level where I'll do a, um, write the keywords and descriptions and stuff. Thanks so much, you guys. Okay, so let me jump in. And again, if you guys have questions, let me know. Um, but I have had some questions come through. Oh gosh, I've got too many windows open. Um, that I thought, oh, let me just go ahead and do a quick video. I scrolled too far down. There it is. Okay. And just share some of the answers that I've got. Okay. Here we go. So um, I was asked by Ann. Uh, she says, when I buy my own shirts on Amazon, will I get a discount? The answer is not exactly. Um, the, if you buy just, I mean, it kind of evens out either way. So if you want to drop your shirt price down for as low as you can, which is I think around $13 or something, um, then your royalties won't be basically anything. Um, or you can buy it at the $19 and get whatever it is, five bucks. So it all generally works out to be about the same. So you can do it that way um, if you want. Let's see, let me jump in the chat because I see questions popping in. Hello. Um, do I sell shirts on Etsy Printful that are all over print? If so, how are the reviews? I worry about streaking that Printful says can happen. I I have a few things that have the all over print, but I didn't do it the way they suggested it. I'll have to talk to um, Jeff because I know that he has done some that have the, the all over or the sublimation. Um, Cause I have a bag that I did, but I just made one big image on it where I could have done like this other stuff, but I didn't. So I w I'm really interested in doing that because I think it'd be so much fun. Um, finally got pop sockets, yay! <laughs> Big old 82 cents at 13.95. Linda says, "There we go." Yeah, so you don't exactly get a discount because it it all ends up being about 15 bucks, even if you drop it down or if you keep it the same. Pardon me, my mouth is a bit dry. I took a bigger drink than I thought. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So um, I had Envision asked, in the FAQs for pop sockets, it says no three-dimensional artwork. Does that mean 3D effect like you see in the movies or a book requiring 3D glasses? Or does it mean 3D objects you see in real life? I wanted to upload real Christmas decorations, ornaments, gift boxes, and some animal picture designs and wasn't sure if that was considered 3D because it's not a vector or flat image. I would think that if it's a, like a photograph, of a Christmas tree, like I, where's my, oh, of course I don't have it with me. Um, so I have a photograph, you know, and of course it's a person, that's a three dimensional person, but it's a photograph, um, but it, it did. So I'm guessing they mean like, 
something that would require 3D glasses or, um, yeah, I think that's probably what they mean or something that would need, um, oh, what do you call that? When you, you twist it and it kind of makes it look, I can't think words today. I've been with kids all day. So I think, yeah, I think they're meaning like not three dimension, like 3D that would need 3D glasses. I think it would be, it's okay if it's like a picture of a 3D object, right? Unless you're hoping it'll like look like a three dimensional, like <laughs> Christmas ball or something. But that would be, you know, you could do that with a um, 3D printer. That would be cool. Anyway, um, so, okay, I'll go back in the chat and see if there's any. Uh, hi, Angie, what's my primary business? Ah, uh, my primary business is making money. No, um, it's, I do a little bit of everything. I'm a stay at home mom. So I try to do what I can to make extra money, uh, print on demand. So whether it's, um, merch by Amazon, printful Etsy, but then I resell as well and make videos and things like that. So I don't have a primary thing, which is perfect for me. So, and I hope that answers the question. Um, but maybe. Oh, thanks, Mary. You know, I, I taught the video that I ended up taking down. I, I talked about it because I went and got my hair cut. I was like, I just want to trim, right? I want it to be like right around here. And the lady went whack, right? And so then I have to curl in, try to make it look normal. <laughs> sort of. We'll see. Um, thank you so much, though. Today I got approved. Yay. When I put a t-shirt, when's the chance to sell the first shirt on Amazon? Well, that's a good, I mean, that that is a question that gets asked a lot. So, you, you know, I, I put my shirt up. When's this puppy going to sell? Um, and there are so many factors that go into that. Um, one, the design, you know, is it something that people want to buy? I won't even say, is it a good design? Because my kids have designed stuff and they're, I'm their mother. And it's beautiful, beautiful work, always spelled correctly. Um, but some of their, I mean, it sells, you know? So I won't even say that it has to be a brilliant design. Um, but is it something people would buy? So there's that. Or do you know somebody who wants that, right? And then they can buy it or you can buy it, right? So early on, one of the things I did is my guys um, wanted some shirts. So so early on, I did buy some shirts for my kids. Like we made some Halloween shirts that they wanted, some classic movie, and not classic movie monsters, but classic monsters, you know, like Frankenstein and stuff like that, but that were in the public domain, images. So we made some shirts with things like that because when I first started, I didn't spend a dime. You know, I wanted to get stuff from the public domain and go with that. Hologram, that's what, that's right. That's what I was thinking about earlier. Thank you, guys. You know my brain. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's a good way to start, you know, is to get some shirts. I mean, my guys, one of them was wearing a shirt today that that they created on Make March. So letting your kids create shirts and buy them for them. That's always fun. Um, and now that I'm homeschooling, I'm actually thinking about doing, you know, one of our projects this week. This is going to be our first week back to school um, is going to be, you know, design a school shirt for us to wear when we're out like doing a field trip or something. And people are like, well, why aren't you boys in school today? You know, so they'll have a shirt that they designed. That's our, you know, 2018, 2019 class shirt. Right. Um, so there's that. I hope they answer the question. Also finding out like what, you know, if there's people around you that want sh shirts, what they might want a shirt from. Thank you, Virgie. Thank you. <laughs> Do you integrate from Printful to both Etsy and Shopify? I don't. I don't have Shopify. I have Etsy. I have trouble juggling a lot, and I do, and I juggle a lot. So um, I have Printful and Etsy, and I have two. Well, technically, I have four Etsy shops. So I have an Etsy shop for my vintage stuff that I sell. I have an Etsy shop for digital downloads um, that we do, like, for homeschool stuff. I have, and then I have two print-on-demand uh, print et Etsy shops. One of them is one that I share with you guys, and then the other one is my other print-on-demand Etsy shop. So, um, because I like to have one that I share if I'm doing tutorials and stuff. So I have shirts that I've done tutorials with with you guys, and so I have it up there like that. Um, but yeah, I, and I it's, I have a Teespring and a Redbubble, but I really don't do a lot with it. But hey, every now and then I get like twelve bucks, and I'm happy with that. So. Why not? It's good. Um, you sell vintage and new jewelry and you stay at home too. Oh, sweet. Hey, Angie. 
I'm trying to see if I the picture's like this big, and I'm trying to see if I know who know who you are in real life. I don't know. I was talking to somebody anyway. Right. Is there a chance to buy a T-shirt the first time when you get approved? Like, are you asking? Is there a chance? that you could buy the shirt or that somebody else will buy the shirt? Cause there's definitely a chance that somebody will buy your shirt when you're first a new, a new seller, a new person on there. Absolutely. Just depending on, you know, getting your keywords and descriptions and things like that going. Mm -hmm. uh, Fanda says, do you notice that designs that use copyright free images get stuck longer under review? Happened to you twice now. Ooh, no, I haven't. I'm wondering about that now. When was the last time I used one that was from a public domain site though? Um, I haven't in a while. <laughs> so, but, but the, you know, here's the thing. No, never mind. <laughs> I don't keep a whole lot of things that close. Like, but there's a few things that I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, I, I share almost everything. So yeah, I haven't used a whole lot of public domain stuff lately because I have a couple of sites that I have access to now. Um, so, right. Oh, hey, born to book. Look at you. How's it going? Switching sides. Um, Shelly, Shelly, right? Shelly. Um, yay. Homes and and if I see a couple of people going, yay, homeschool. Yeah, I have another channel, Homeschool Honey, if you're interested, that I've been sharing some of our homeschool stuff. So, yeah. Yes. Um, my, my, and my guys, I know this is not exactly merch related, but they do merch. So, um, my guys have definitely learned, um, about business and entrepreneurship. Um, we actually just this weekend went back to Houston to get, my sons had a vending machine, a gumball machine in the local coffee shop. And when they went to take it to, you know, or went to ask the woman who owned the coffee shop, Actually, I need to email her and tell her we took it. <laughs> um, before she would, you know, let them have their gumball machine there, and James was five at the time, she she looked at him and she said, where's your business plan? <laughs> so we had to go home. We had to write a business plan and take it back. So I, I told him, you need to ask her for a letter of reference so that when you go to try to put your gumball machine in another place here, um, that you've you've got a letter of reference from the last place that you worked, you had your gumball machine. So character reference, whatever. So anyway, yeah, so homeschool shirt. Yeah, and hey, my homeschooly friends, let me know, cause I get the hookup and you send me what you want, I'll put it on the shirt, you know, and then you just buy the shirt, you don't have to pay me anything. So win-win, right? Um, careful, you have to declare all your, I know, I'm not gonna tell. I do, but I just don't broadcast that. So. Technically, Lord, I have, if somebody wanted to go and look, if they knew all the ins and outs, they would. So <laughs> they would just go do it. Yeah. <laughs> I follow the rules. I know their rules. Okay. Um, Fanda says, I used a turtle image from a copyright-free site, but I noticed three other shirts used it to different topics. Hmm. That's, I mean, and that's a question that people come up with, with, um, like, for example, make merch, right? So it's a lot of the same. There's a lot of images that lots of different people could use. I think as long as it's not, you're not using the image in the exact same way that everybody else is, you know, with the exact wording and things like that, there's going to be overlap, you know? I hear my phone downstairs. I'm going to holler at them to turn it off. I can't think of anybody I want to talk to you right now other than you. Hey, God. Okay. No, don't bring it to me. Oh, okay. I thought it was downstairs. Oh, it's upstairs. Fancy that. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so I think that happens, especially because also like my guys, um, when they find a, an image that they like, they like cats. Okay. So a lot of their shirts have the same cat image on it different wording, different phrasing, different filters. So just kind of how you play with it um, for sure. So let's see, do, 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 do. Um, do I use AMS on Merch by Amazon? No, I've never used AMS. I know a lot of people did for a while and I thought that, I thought that kind of stopped, but maybe, maybe it didn't, I'm kind of out of the loop, but um, yeah. 
So I don't, I don't, I never have used AMS. I actually don't do any paid, any like ads or anything like that anymore either. I did for a while. Shelly, yay! <laughs> I got it right. So, um, do you, okay, I read that one, okay. Do you, no, no, okay, I read that. Former homeschool mom, hey, hey, Debbie, yeah. Do you use the X symbol when talking about homeschool? Oh, no, no, cross, that was my crossover, Rihanna. Because <laughs> Born to Book is, as Shelly is, has watched some of my homeschool videos. And so this is my like, oh, you're crossing over to check out my other channel. <laughs> crossover. So now if you come over and talk to me on, on Homeschool Honey channel and I see you and you're like, you're my normally, I see you on Texas Gal Treasure. I go, <laughs> right? That can be our... That can be our symbol, right? <laughs> Everybody together. <laughs> it's a crossover. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> We're going to make fetch a thing, y'all. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> does Etsy print on demand work the same way Amazon does, where they ship in customer service for you? For the most part, yes. I really like it. Okay. Um, so, they do... They, when you um, when somebody buys the item, they they will print it, they will ship it, and all that stuff. Um, I haven't had any returns yet, but you you have to do a little bit more when it comes to returns. What I do like though is one, there's so many options like bags and tank tops and just all bathing suits, all, all kinds of stuff, uh, mugs, pillows. I you just it's a lot. And I like that. And then I also like that, let's say something's out of stock, like they're, oh, this woman, she wanted this purple V-neck shirt with this print and print was like, ah, it's out of stock. I can go in and look for another shirt that's similar. You know, maybe it's a scoop neck or maybe it, and I can message her and say, oh, you know what? This is out of stock in your size. Here's some other options. And she could say, okay, yeah, I'll take that one. And then I can just go, you know, doo -doo 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 and, fit, and fix it, you know. Oh, great. The cat's decided to throw up on the carpet now. Thanks, Lukey. Right there. Okay, great. Oh, brother. <laughs> okay. Um, where are we? And now the other cat's coming to investigate. Y'all don't want to see that, do you? I would show you if you were interested, but I think probably not. No, now they're both smelling it. Anyway, that there's a shirt there, I'm sure. <laughs> um, I've been in... Okay, I've been... I've been having trouble integrating from Printful to both Etsy and Shopify. Some stuff gets left off of one or the other. Just, oh, no, I haven't. I've been, I haven't had a whole lot of trouble. Now Shopify, I don't know. Thank, thank you, Flippin' Hustler. Thank you. Uh, AMS can't be used for merch any longer. Okay, okay. Um, what if some if Etsy someone buys the wrong shirt size or want to exchange it for a different size? How does that work with Printful? As far as I know, I think that, Depending on what the problem is, Printful sometimes takes care of it, but I think if it, I know the kids just came up and like, hey, I got threw up. Um, again, I haven't had that happen, so I'll have to ask Jeff or Joe or one of them that maybe has had a return, um, but I think sometimes there is something that you have to do if it's not a print problem or a, like if it's not Printful's fault you know like as far as that goes I think but I haven't had that happen so um Rihanna says you have to be careful using public domain some are stolen images from other sites some are legit definitely research yeah I do I whenever I was using um public domain images or, or images I would get from public domain sites I would do a reverse google image search on it and then hang on one second sugar and see where else it popped up, right? Uh, <laughs> and uh, so, yeah. And then some of them were just like somebody's artist rendition of ne Nemo from Finding Nemo. And that one I knew like automatically, no, that's a no. Hi. Yes. Do you want to clean it up? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he came to point it out to me. I'm like, great. What do you want me to do? Like, I'm going to stop. Excuse me while I clean up the cab here. Um, <laughs> um it's up to the seller if they'll take it back and do an exchange refund uh, if it's not a print flyer. Thank you, Nana Beth. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. Okay, so I, I don't see any more questions in the chat, so I'm going to look back in my in my comments from, okay, that's not per, print on demand related. If you have any more, let me know, though. Oh, wait, where was that one? 
Uh, no, that wasn't one either. Eek. Oh, okay. Is it possible to have different merch accounts? Um, the terms of service, I think, say no. However, I know some people do. But, for example, I, I don't have multiple merch accounts. I have my account. My husband has his account. My sister has an account. Now, do I sometimes help them? Yes, I do. And sometimes, before my sister got approved, like, she would post on my account. Um, and I would just, you know, pay, pay her when the shirt sold. So I don't think, like, if I try to have another, like, with another email address and set it up to have another merch account, I don't think, I think you probably could get away with it for a little bit. Once they catch on, you might get pulled for both of them. Yeah. Um, so if you integrate with Printful Etsy, Printful will know an item that sold, or do I have to go? No, they'll know. Yeah, they'll know it sold. So... I'll get, because Etsy does, if you sold on eBay or, or Etsy, you know, you get a little cha-ching when something sells, right? So you'll get a cha-ching and you can go and see what's sold. And then it automatically shoots it to Printful. Because what happens is when you um, put your things on Etsy, you're, you're uploading them onto the Printful site. And then you push it to Etsy from there. So they're the ones sending it to Etsy. So they have like a, a connection. Yeah. Um, Brigitte, when will I start seeing sales at which tier? Uh, you should see them on any tier. It just depends. I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into it. I know it can be frustrating to get the ball rolling for sure. Um, I know, I think I skipped a question. Rihanna, I just got approved for those pop things on the phone. Do you have any hints on what uh, would sell on those? You know... Um, I've sold, I, and again, I don't mind sharing some of mine. I, I actually had a Halloween one sell just recently. So Halloween, um, I, I know that there's not a whole lot of profit in them. It's just a couple dollars, but they're so fun to design. I just started thinking about round things. Like what would look fun on a round thing? And some of the ones I've sold are just like random designs. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, I think it kind of goes with just, you know, same same kind of deal. It's people want something that shows their personality. People want something that shows their what they're interested in. Uh, so like mine, which may seem weird, mine is my picture. But the reason I got it, one, was so if people saw it, they're like, what on earth is going on with that? But then I can use it as a selling point like, oh, this is really funny because I make these and, you know, if you wanted to get like your kid's picture on that or your cat or whatever, you know, so I just did it. That's a funny thing. Um, let's see. I forgot your hubby has an account with a name you suggested to be changed. <laughs> yes. What was that? He was trying to get approved. Oh, oh I remember now. So he forever had been trying to get approved for merch. And, you know, before the application process has changed, but before it was like you had to come up with a brand name or like a business name for your shirts or your business. And he kept putting test T's as his name. And I was like, Randy, that's not a good idea because Amazon don't play. And he's like, no, it's funny. Get it? You guys okay? He's like, no, no, it's not like, like you're testing T's. He's like, it's like double meaning test T's. Get it? Get it? I was like, I get it. And so will Amazon. And that's why you're probably not getting approved. So anyway, <laughs> but he changed it. And guess what? He got approved. So <laughs> um, Jessica, the answer is yes to that question. And I actually did a video the other day about it and had, and I put it on private for the moment because I was, I had a, Jeff convinced me like, you're not supposed to talk about it yet. You got an email that says it's confidential. And I thought, well, it's on the dashboard, so it should be okay now. And he's like, don't chance it. I was like, fine, I will take the video and make it private. <laughs> yeah, you'll know if, if you've been approved, I'll, I'll just put that out there. You will know and your your dashboard will reflect it. There will be no way to miss it. 
<laughs> so yeah, I can't show you though. <laughs> um, let's see. Do 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 do. Yeah, Halloween. I mean, fall stuff is selling now. Yeah. Um, no pop sockets. Just got teared up to a hundred. Yay. Pop so oh, yeah. You know what? And I know some people are, there were people in one of the groups that were getting upset, but honestly, it's like, it's like two bucks, you know, it's not like, I mean, they're fun, but I haven't put up an any in a bit. So, and then, and then they were not super clear. I'm just going to say about what was okay. And I didn't realize until now they actually sent out a whole nother email explaining it. You can't say pop sockets anywhere. You, you cannot, even though they are legitimately pop sockets that you're selling, you can't say pop socket in the title, the brand, the description, anything, because that is copyrighted, copyrighted, trademarked, one of those. Anyway, you can't say it. So I had all these ones that I put up get pulled down. And of course I didn't save all like the descriptions I wrote for them because I use the word pop socket. So I was going through frantically looking at the other ones that I had put up there <laughs> and having to change like bone grip handle. Anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> it was good and bad at the same time. I think one of the ones that had been selling actually got pulled. I need to go put it back up, rewrite it. Another thing I've been doing is looking at my shirts and seeing which ones would lend themselves to a pop socket. So I've, I've been taking uh, some of my shirt designs and on make merch, there's a pop socket um, design thing where you can upload your, your designs there. So I've been using some of my shirts that lend themselves to that and uploading it to the pop socket design thingy doodle. That's the technical term, thingy doodle. And then, you know, from there downloading it and using, but then it's also cool because you can put filters on it and make it all extra fun. So um, let's see. Another thing you can do is look at other t-shirt sites and get, yeah, yeah, this is true. Just to see what's out there. I mean, I saw a chick today wearing a shirt just said, nope, <laughs> across the front, anything will sell, right? Um, can you, oh wait, me? Can you contact Amazon to show them your Etsy shirts and ask if they can bump the tiers to 3,000? Every design could go on dark shirts, light shirts, then long sleeve hoodies. You could ask, I don't think they will. Are you asking me? I just got randomly bumped up to the 8,000 tier. Like I just got bumped up to 6,000 and then randomly, I, I'm at a lot. I'm fine, I'll take it. I haven't been doing a whole lot of uploading though. <laughs> so, um, uh-oh, I think I skipped something. Do, do, do. Uh, I tried to watch that video and so that's why I wouldn't come up, oh yeah. Jessica said, yeah, I know uh, I've been approved because I got the email says we aren't supposed to talk about it. Uh, yeah. So uh, I thought it was okay, right? Because it's on the dashboard. Everybody can see it. I thought it'd be okay. Now that's fine. Um, sockets that pops. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hey, hey. Um, or is the tier up solely based on how many shirts you sell? It used to be, it used to be based on how many shirts you sold, but I don't think that is anymore. I think, you know, I can't, I, I think that they're rolling as they are, this is just speculation, as they're rolling new things out, they're changing things for people. <laughs> vague, vague. Shane Dawson celebrity has tier three, Shirts selling loads, but he also shirts that aren't, aren't even ranked. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's totally different. That's Shane Dawson. He's got that Amazon is gonna Amazon is gonna want what makes money, right? So Shane is sure, certainly making them lots of money. Hey, Swamp Picker, hey Glenn. Um it would have to be a shirt design that would look good smaller. Yeah, yeah. Um a lot of my designs are not intricate. A lot of mine are really, really, really simple. So, yeah. Um, but do 
How much were you doing when you were doing it regular? Were, were you uploading every day, week? How many products did you add? There were times when I was trying to um, max out every day. Um, and that was, I mean, sometimes it was 40 a day. Sometimes it was 80 a day. Um, there, And this was before I started homeschooling when I had that kind of time. But I, a lot of times it was uploads, like re-uploads, or when they pulled, you know, rolled out the long sleeves and the hoodies, like um, putting those ideas on those shirts as, and, and um, hoodies as well. So there's that. But um, on regular, like back when I, when I finally am able to, I would like to be able to do maybe like 10 a day if I'm going to be realistic. Cause you know, with both the guys home, it's kind of hard to get everything. Yeah. He yeah, has a lot of images. There, there are, there are things that will help populate the words. Like if it's the same design or the same style, like a lot of the ones that I would do like that were, um, I'm trying to think of an example, say like, for the 50 states, you know, where I have something that is going on, Texas and Louisiana and da, 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 and the design is then just tweaked with that state. So the word, the wording could all be very similar. Are you guys wrestling? What? Are y'all wrestling? No. Really? What are you doing? No, he's what are you doing? Play. Playing what? He sounds like he's choking him. Okay, fine, whatever. Good, here's parenting. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, um, so, so, but it, oh, what's it called? Um, Merch Lister Pro, that's what I was using, where it would just, you know, you drop down. Okay, for real. Guys, come here. Come here. Pardon me, I have to parent for one second. Oops, that's the wrong button. Thank you. I got really quiet for them to really know I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see. Andre asks, what are your thoughts on videos that are being posted using other sellers' products of, as example of sales and low-key telling people to go copy them? Um, I don't think that is – that's not my strategy. I know that there are people that, like, will go find things that they think are good ideas and, like, go try to make it better. Um, I'm really sensitive. I don't like to use the word sensitive, but, um, it's a really sore spot with me. I don't know if, I mean, some of you guys probably remember the drama that happened not too, too long ago with someone taking one of my images and publicly like doing something with it. Um, so yeah, I really am like, you know what? Come up with your own stuff. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I know there are people that do that. So, I mean, you just, my thing is, you know, people, integrity, right? And people show you who they are and you just have to pay attention. So that's all. And just know that if they're willing to do that to somebody else, they're willing to do it to you. So there we go. Um, Casey Carrot. Uh, did I receive the email? I, I want to say yes, but I don't think so. I don't remember getting an email. Um, yeah, yeah, there's enough out there. It's just lazy. All right, sorry if you're doing it and you're mad. You're going to give me a million thumbs down now. It's just like, come on. Anyway, I mean, that that's not to say that you're not like looking. I mean, you could go and look and see like what kind of stuff is out there, but I would not say like go look at somebody's shirt and say, I'm going to take that shirt and I'm going to change it. I don't know. I keep thinking of exceptions. So I don't know. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to keep putting my foot in my mouth. Um, thanks, you guys. <laughs> thanks. Okay. Um, how long have I been at it? Because I, I have more questions. 
That sounds like thunder. Boy, I would love some rain. Oh, I'll keep going. I got a little bit of time here. What? Just because it's thundering now doesn't mean that it's going to thunder tomorrow. Hang on one second. Now he's decided to play the ukulele. Okay. Debbie, you're having thunder too. Wow. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, okay. I do get a lot of questions because, okay. So setting up Etsy shop, a lot of people send me questions about um, if they're having trouble setting up Etsy and like, why are they asking me so much personal information? Why does Etsy need my, my ID information? Why does Etsy want um, uh, banking information? Um, or, you know, why will Etsy take this kind of whatever? And um, certain kinds of questions are Etsy, you know, like should be asked of the platform. There's some things I don't know the answer to. Um, so those, some of them I'll just say like, I don't know, I'm not sure, um, because I don't know the answer. But generally, you know, Etsy's asking for banking information because they want you to get your money. <laughs> so they don't do PayPal or they don't pay through PayPal. I don't think. Yeah. Are flags public domain? I guess it depends on like, is it a artist rendition of the flag or it just kind of depends. Cause there are people that have made like cutesy Texas flags that would not be in the public domain. There are some really interesting things in the public domain though. Cause I think patents are in the public domain, depending like patent drawings. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the public domain, y'all. There's a lot. So I'm going to get a drawing light pad and draw some of my own designs. That's awesome, Swag Maven. One of the first ones we did, hey, Mikey, do you have the catfish shirt handy? It was when my son had an idea, and I drew it, and my husband made a vector image of it. Um, and it was like this catfish. <laughs> so I don't think he has the shirt handy. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, I won't. Um, okay, let me jump back over here to see th um, what other questions I, I get. Let's see. Um, what other, okay, so I get questions about other print-on-demand sites. Stuck at Home Mom is asking which ones um, I recommend. And personally, if, if it's not merch, you know, if, let's say you're not, re um, you're not proof for merch or you lost your account for some reason. Um, Printful and Etsy is great. And then Teespring. Those are the two that I like best. Uh, some people love Redbubble. I know a few people that use Zazzle and then like Jeff does Shopify because he has his own website. He has that all set up where he does Printful and I think it's Shopify. I, I think. Um, okay. Pop sockets. Oh yeah, someone was asking about when are you getting when do you get approved for pop sockets? I don't know. I don't know. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, someone asked uh, Elizabeth asked, have you had any experience using Redbubble's journal post entries? Are they a waste of time? Do they help in search? I haven't used them because I think they have like this type of blog thing on Redbubble where you can make it kind of like a a site. Like my um, sister in law uses Redbubble for her original art where she sells stuff, um, prints of her art and on pillowcases and things like that. And so I think you can write things up kind of like an artist's blog um, on there, but I have never used it. Yeah. Y'all getting right? Man, we need it. It's been so dry. Woo, we need it. Ah, la, la, la. I'm going to sing la, la, la while I'm scrolling. La, la, la. <laughs> this is my scrolling song. Ah. Um, okay. I know I've got more questions, so. Um, I'm, I'm running, oh uh, yeah. Okay, okay, so I had somebody ask, what's a good way to find niches, niches? I'm gonna close out some of my other tabs and I'm gonna show you. And this is something I was actually showing the other day on the video that I took down. So one thing that I like to do, let me get to Google, 
is if I am like stuck, then what I'll do <laughs> is I'll just come to Google and if I'm like um, popular girl, and then I'll, if I'm wanting to make a shirt for girls, let's say popular girl actors, A names, boy names, popular girl backpacks, bands, blogs, uh, popular girl cat names <laughs> or clothes, cartoon characters. So I'll just kind of go through and then I'll put in the, the popular girl elf on the shelf names. So maybe you make a, you can't do technically elf on the shelf, but you can make an elf with a funky name. I don't know. Um, and I mean, just, just keeping, keeping on like that, um, or just popular, obviously you can see what I was looking at here. Um, popular, just popular hobbies or, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of a popular Louisiana sausages, popular Louisiana lakes, rivers. So if you were wanting to do a shirt that would be like a vacation shirt because you're going to Louisiana, popular Louisiana beaches or animals or whatever, you know. So I just kind of go through and that, that's, it sounds silly maybe, I don't know, but sometimes I'll just sit there and I'll just type in um, popular retirement activities or, you know, just, I don't know, like things like that. And just to start getting my brain going. Um, unusual, that's another one I'll do, like unusual hobbies for kids, unusual hobbies for men. Yeah, it makes it narrow it down. It narrows it down to, to items. And then when you click on it, you can search. And then let's say if I were searching, let's say that we're going to call we're gonna call the um, the platform. Let's say Redbubble was was now selling in Germany. <laughs> so, I, and I wanted to find out what people in Germany would like to buy from my Redbubble shop. Redbubble here. Um, then I might see what the popular hobbies were in Germany. And not only that, but like how to spell them in German, so that I could could create a shirt or a pillow because I think Redbubble does pillows. <laughs> um, but it's a good way to really kind of narrow it down. Yeah, yeah, to, to that, that's what they like to say, niche down, right? Black leotards, yes. <laughs> it's time for us, what is it? Uh, it's now time on Sprockets for us to dance. I don't know how to say that exactly. Anyway, okay. I think we're good. I I know there's lots more questions, but I think that's probably a good stopping point. Probably, maybe. Um, hey, you guys, go down there and hit the thumbs up button. Um, <laughs> that's it. Yes, we have 17 thumbs up and 41 friends watching us. And if you are interested in learning more, if you know, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and also. Um, if you're a homeschooler or interested in that kind of stuff or what we do, or even just a teacher, because I share a lot of like teachery activities over on my homeschool channel, then go over. <laughs> Locked and loaded. I made it sound <laughs> homeschool honey on YouTube as well. Okay. Um, and yeah, if you are, if you're wanting to learn more, definitely go over to Facebook. Find me on Texas Gal Treasures on Facebook and uh, Merch University, which is Joe Clay's group. Is a really great place. He's he's always. I mean, if you want to talk about somebody who shares information and helps people come up with ideas, Joe is amazing. So definitely, Merch University as well. All right, I will talk to you guys later. I'm so glad to have got to hang out with you and have a great great evening. Bye everybody.